And a very pleasant good afternoon, everybody. Welcome here to the Ice Balls Arena in Wayne, New Jersey. My name is Mike Chee. Glad you could join us in the sixth annual Hitman Classic as we get ready for face-off between the Jersey Hitman and the Islanders Hockey Club. Whalen, he's got a trailer. The pass comes to Kinsella. Shot. It's loose. They score! David Schmidt! Hartman trying to get to the net. Backdoor score! Zach Tyson! For Novak with Venus going to the net. Novak keeps it himself in front. Big save. Rebound. They score! Well, the, the Hitman Showcase is... Uh, is a celebration of the, of the USPHL. Um, we want to bring uh, as many teams under one roof or into one location as we can for the college guys to come watch. Uh, yeah, we, we've had we've had a, a great success with uh, with the scouting uh, over the last few years. Um, I, I think that scouts like to come to places where they're taken care of and where they know that they're going to have good sight lines, they're going to have uh, quality line charts, and, and, and have the ability to really do their job. Uh, Productively and efficiently, um, and I think that's what that's what we provide. Um, I really think that USPHL uh, allows allows you to be showcased by coaches uh, because of the location, uh, and so a lot of kids are coming out here nowadays. Um, and it's really starting. You can see the skill in almost every team. Um, every team at this point um, is pretty skilled, and there's a lot of speed in the league. Um, that's been the biggest thing that I've noticed uh, compared to the British Columbia League. Um, there's a lot of speed, there's a lot of skill, um, there's a lot of guys that are just competing for college spots. Um, so, you know, the league's, the league's really growing and it seems like it's, you know, getting a really, really good reputation and it's uh, really flourishing. Well, in the USPHL, when it comes to colleges and just the location of uh, where, where the league's played and how the travel is, I mean, the farthest we go is, I think, five hours to Rochester. Um, and you know that really that really allows us to kind of be fresh and showcase what we have um, every game. And um, you know, being last year in uh, the island out in uh, out west uh, Pacific Pacific Island, um, you know, there's no there's no colleges that are going to come out there. Um, and then being in Amarillo, Texas, uh, you know, there's just no schools that are willing to you know make the trip down there. Um, so here it's such a central location, which is why so many guys are coming out to this league and so many guys are, um, you know, really doing well in college and, uh, you know, the league is just really flourishing. One of the, one of the better parts about playing in the USPHL is uh, unlike the other leagues where as they're completely spread out, you have those long bus rides, you're not as fresh and uh, schools can get out to you a lot easier, especially on the East Coast. Um, whereas to, if you're in a spot like North Dakota or down in Texas, it's very hard to pay for those travel fees and things like that. So it's really got a big advantage on those other leagues. Well, I think, you know, what's, what's very intriguing about the Hitmen Showcase is, you know, in October, things generally settle down in other leagues. They're playing league games. They're playing home-and-home -home series. You know, in the USPHL, we really pride ourselves on having showcases every month. And the reason why we have our showcases is because it gives the college coaches an opportunity to come out to New Jersey, you know, being 18 miles outside of New York City and being able to come in, see all the premier teams play, see the top 18, 16 teams play, the wave of the future in the USP3, you know, Canadian teams want to get into this showcase, they come down and I think it's something that we capture the college hockey world for one weekend because in other spots, like I said, there aren't showcases, teams haven't started yet, um, you know, it's tough travel, but knowing that, you know, you have the top league in the East all under one roof for four days, I think is very intriguing to college, NHL, pro scouts alike. This weekend, the Jersey Hitmen showcase, um, it's special to play and bring all the top teams in uh, to showcase your talent in front of Tons of scouts, the rink's always filled, um, and it's special playing in your own barn. Um, all your hometown friends, family, Villa families come out, watch you play, and it's just, it's like no other. Yeah, I think anytime you could play uh, on your home rink in front of scouts is a big plus. Uh, we practice here all the time, and we play three times a week. Um, 
Uh, there's a lot of scouts here, um, a lot of East Coast schools here, and uh, I feel like it's very good for us. To it by Novak. There's a chance now. Betis walks in a back header and he scores! <laughs> Noah Betis. 15 of the man advantage. Kinsella, a one-timer to pass it. Rebound, they score! <laughs> Alex Whelan with his second of the game. It's a power play goal, and the hitman back on top by two. It's three to one. Up next, that'll do it for us. So long, everybody. Hitman back in action, same time tomorrow, 2.30, against South Shore. I'm Mike Sheehan. So long, everybody.